Greetings baseball fans. Today we have another in a series of memorial games honoring ball players who passed on in the year 2020. And the game of choice is History Maker Baseball from Play Games. The season is 1968 and we have the San Francisco Giants visiting the Chicago Cubs at Wrigley Field. Now the player on the Giants, who is no longer with us, is starting pitcher Mike McCormick, a left-hander. We've got a pair of lefties going today. He'll be facing Ken Holtzman for the Cubs. And the Cubs have two players who passed on in 2020. Second baseman Glenn Beckert. And right fielder Lou Johnson. As far as uh, pregame stuff, uh, we are just we're not going to use the uh, the pregame chart. Each team is considered harmonious as far as that goes. And uh, the umpires we've got Andy Olson behind the plate, Stan Landis at first, Chris Pelicudis at second, and Lee Wire at third. So we'll get right to it. Ron Hunt, second baseman, leading off of the Giants. Here we go, that's a one, two, three. And if the pitcher is flash and fresh, is a strikeout, the side of the die says yes. So Hunt goes down swinging to lead off. Jesus Alou, the right fielder. One, three, six. If the pitcher is an ace, strikeout, no. With for a cold, no. And we've got some infield drama, and I should mention also that the designated hot batter for both teams is the cleanup hitter. Designated cold batter is the number eight hitter. So we're going to the infield drama chart. And that's a one, two. Shortstop iron, no. So uh, makes the play, let's see, gold makes the play, otherwise safe at first on error. So that is going to be an error on Don Kessinger. Kind of unusual uh, lineup for um, both teams today. Everyone on the Cubs is um, average as far as fielding goes, except for the pitcher Holtzman is semi-gold. And for the Giants, they just have one iron player, that's catcher Dick Dietz, and Hal Lanier is semi-gold at short. So Alou is on at first. He's no threat to steal. Go back to the main chart for center fielder Willie Mays. Three, five, six. Uh, that's going to be a single down the line. And Hazel Salou will go to third. So first and third, one out for Willie McCovey. Left hander facing a left hander. Infield is back. One, six, six. Workman or Gilded. Now, the gilded quality applies to every pitcher in the 1968 set uh, because the ERA for that year, uh, the year of the pitcher, was quite a bit lower than the average ERA that the game is calculated for. So uh, Holtzman is considered gilded and that's a single to left field. Run will score, loose scores, Mays goes to second and we are going to go to the it's player experience chart for Dick Dietz. And he is a semi-prospect. So, 2-6. Uh, icon pitcher, no. Otherwise, batter drops a single over second base. That is going to load the bases. Let's see, two, check the base running on that one. Uh, Runs advance one. Okay, so that's going to load the bases. So Holtzman is getting into trouble early here. We got a one out, bases loaded situation. Infield is back for third baseman Jim Davenport. Five, five, six. Uh, that's a double to right field. And that is going to clear the bases, I believe. Let's see. Yep. Uh, runs advances two bases score on doubles so that's going to clear the bases four runs are in with one out Jim Davenport on second Ty Klein the left fielder 
one, two, four. Control. Decided, decided die says no, so he does not get him out on control. An eager battle will pop out for first, and Klein is eager. Swinging a little too soon there, and he could not get good wood on it. We got two outs. Man on second. Howling near the shortstop. Up. And that's two, four, five. He is not a hero, so he's going to pop out the second to end the inning. Holtzman gets out of it, but not without the Giants getting four runs in the first inning. And the next batter is going to be on the experience chart. And that's going to be Glenn Beckert. And he is neutral as far as that quality goes. So let's get rid check the experience chart. 5-5. Five, five. Uh, let's see, roll decider die for ball uh, based on balls or strikeout. So desired decided die says yes. Beckett will draw a leadoff walk. And it brings up Lou Johnson, the right fielder, one of our honored players. And we'll go back to the main chart for that. Five six six. Pitcher is not wild. He is not a good eye, so he is going to strike out. And the next batter will go to the baseball right now chart. That's going to be Ernie Banks. So let's play two. First baseman. Uh, we eliminate the black. So that's a 4 4. Batter steps out. Timeout takes ball four. Base on ball. So McCormick having control trouble here early. Two walks. We've got first and second. One out to Billy Williams, the left fielder. Left-handed batter, one, two, four. We go back to the main chart. Control, and yes, McCormick has control, so it's going to be ground out to shortstop, double play. McCormick gets out of the inning. So at the end of one, four nothing Giants, and McCormick, the pitcher, will lead off the inning. With a one, five, six, whiffer he is, and there's a strikeout for Holtzman. Ron Hunt, top of the order, second baseman. Two, three, four. Uh, hot batter? No. Uh, so it's just going to be a pop out the third. Two down for Jesus Alou, the right fielder. <clears throat> One, four, five. Uh, he's going to ground out the first, and that will end the inning. Giants out in the second. Cubs up in the second. Ron Santo, the third baseman. Leading it off with a 2-2-5. Two, two, uh, if the pitcher is a star, semi-star, McCormick does not get the decide to die on that one. And that will go to a single to center field. There was no threat to steal. Ron Hundley, the catcher. Two, three, five. Pitcher is not wild. Batter, if the batter is eager, he will get a single through shortstop. And the decided die says yes for a semi eager Hundley. So that puts first and third. Let's check that base running there. Uh, no, one base on single. So it's first and second. Nobody out for Adolfo Phillips, the center fielder. Uh, looks good. 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Ace or star. He does not get the decider die for a star. Uh, scrapper he is not. So that's a that's a three-run homer for Adolfo Phillips. Over the left field wall. And the Cubs are back in this game. 4-3. to three. Don Kessinger, the shortstop. 3-3-6. Sad sack or utility. Uh, you decided die says he is a utility batter, so that is a cold third strike. He gets Kessinger looking. Holtzman the batter. 4-4-6. Four, four, Star pitcher will ground out to get him to ground out to second, and the decider die says yes. Holtzman grounds weakly to second. That's two outs. Back to the top of the order, Glenn Beckert. Three, three, five. And that's going to be a single to right field. 
and a stoic runner holds. Okay, it doesn't apply. So Becker, uh, let's see, a neutral. We're going to see if he steals. Check the. Uh, we've got the fast action deck here. Uh, he does not steal. So Lou Johnson, one of our honored players, two, three, six. A star will get up the ground out to. to um, what did I say? Two, three, six. Control pitcher batting. No, that's a walk. So McCormick's getting into trouble here in the second. He cannot get out of the inning. Ernie Banks up with two men on and two out. One, five, six. And that's going to take us to some outfield drama. All the outfield is a neutral as far as fielding goes. Uh, one four, so that is going to be batter lines a hit to right field for a single. Uh, let's see if he's going to score on that one. I believe with two outs he will score. Uh, run advance one base. Yeah, uh, two outs any run scores. So that is going to tie it up. Johnson will hold up at second, so it's first and second. Boy, I, I sure hate to take one of our uh, featured players out in the second inning because he's getting shelled, but we're going to leave McCormick in. Let's see if we can get Billy Williams two out with two on. Two, three, four. We go back to the main chart. <clears throat> and runners on base, plate drama. So we go back to the uh, special chart here. First and second, two out. We've got plate drama. Five, five. Control pitcher, he is. Caught him looking for a strike three. Whew. McCormick gets out of the inning, but not before the Cubs have tied it up. And let's see, the next uh, batter is going to go. I don't know, caught, caught him looking. Yeah. Strike. Otherwise, pick. No, it looks like it's sending me to the umpire chart. Hmm. Uh. So we got the umpire chart with runner on first and second. Okay. Uh, so he did not strike him out. It was just a one pitch strike. So 4-4 four, four on the umpire chart. Respected umpire first base, no. Other umpires call batter safe, runners advance one base. So that's going to be an infield single for Billy Williams to load it up. McCormick in all kind of trouble here in the second inning. Don't want to take him out, but one more hit, and he's going to be done. So he's in uh, stru uh, struggler mode right now. And uh, I'm liable to make a few mistakes here during the game, but since it's not part of a uh, ongoing project, uh, we're just going to let it go, and I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. I think there might have been a struggler I missed back there. but uh, So Ron Santo, bases loaded, two out. One four five struggler throws a wild pitch and yes I just I just called it a wild pitch. Johnson's gonna come in from third base. That's the go-ahead run. Five to four. We got men on second and third, and Santo is still the batter. Uh let's see if we can get a walk to the pitching mound here. And uh Giants manager, who would have that been? Herman Franks, maybe? Should have looked it up first. Uh let's see. We are going to, he's going to take a walk to the mound, and McCormick is going to be an ace for the next, for Ron Santo, who's still at bat. Try to calm him down here. Second and third, two out for Santo. One, two, six. Fresh, line out the second, and he's still in the third inning, so that's fresh. And that'll end the inning, but not before the Cubs score five runs. And they take the lead, so top of the third, Willie Mays. Stepping in against Ken Holtzman. Giants are going to try to get it back here. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. That sounds good. Uh, double to center field. And let's see. Home run King hits a home run. And the decider die says no. So that one's off the wall. Mays trots in at second. And McCovey is going to be the batter. And let's see. The next uh, that's going to send us to the... Um, Team chemistry chart. So McCovey, <clears throat> three five. 
grounds out to short. And let's see, field is choice. All right, Maze is going to hold it second. So Dick Beats is up. One out, man on second. Three, three, five. Single to right field, and that's going to score Mays from second. So the game is tied up. Both pitchers having their problems here, but they're both remaining in the game. So Jim Davenport, the third baseman, up with one out, man on first, one five six, and that's going to be outfield drama. So back to the outfield drama chart. One two. Uh, Routine fly out. So it's two down. Ty Klein, the left fielder, is up. Lefty against lefty. Not a good, uh, not a good matchup here. One two six. The pitcher is fresh, and he lines out the second for the third out. And as far as the era goes, uh, freshness for the 1968 era, the pitchers can go four innings and remain fresh. Although with both, with both. Uh, Pitchers letting up five runs, perhaps they should be semi-fresh, but we're going to let them remain fresh. So Ron Hunley, the catcher, is going to lead off the bottom of the third with the score tied at five, two, three, six. Uh, that's going to be a base on balls. So there's a leadoff walk. Adolfo Phillips hit that uh, three-run homer his last time up, and one, one, six. Pitchers fresh struck him out. So this time McCormick got the better of that matchup. Don Kessinger, the shortstop. 3 5 5. Guild, struggle or gilded, and because of the era, McCormick is gilded, so that's going to be a single. We got first and third for pitcher Ken Holtzman. Uh, 1 1 2. Flash, decided to die, says no. Sad sack, he will pop out the shortstop. And Glenn Becker, one of our featured players today. Two outs, first and third. Three, five, six. Let's see, utility or sad sack, no. Single down the, single down the line, that's going to drive in another run. And unfortunately, we have to take our, our uh, featured pitcher out, Mike McCormick. Now, he is just getting hammered. Hate to do it, but he's going to get an early hook. And we're going to look to the bullpen. And let's see who we got coming out. Uh, let's see, we've got Ron Herbel, Joe Gibbon, Lindy McDaniel, Bill Mon we'll go with Bill Monbaquette. He's got double control. So Monbo, I think that was his nickname, on the mound. We got first and third with two out for Lou Johnson. And the Cubs leading seven to five, or six to five. Two, two, six. Batter hit by pitch, nope. Decided die says no. Fly out to left field, we'll end the inning, uh, but not before a run comes in. And not a good pitching line for Mike McCormick there. He went uh, two and two thirds, let up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits, three walks, and a strikeout. Wow. Six, six earned runs. So the Giants are batting in the top of the fourth and trailing six to five with Howell in the air. The batter, five, six, six. And that will be a strikeout. And the next batter will go to the baseball right now. Chart. That's going to be pitcher Bill Monbaquet. Uh, we'll get rid of that one. One five. Cold batter. Otherwise, uh, since he just came into the game, we're going to consider Monbaquet a cold batter, and he's going to strike out. Not going to let him have a single on that one. Uh, Ron Hunt up with two out. One, two, two. Uh, let's see. One, two, two. Champ or Whiffer? No. Lines out the third for a third out. And that will end the inning. 
We come to the bottom of the fourth with the Cubs leading six to five. Ernie Banks, the number three hitter, steps in two, four, five. And that's a pop out to second. And the next batter will go to the player experience chart. Billy, Billy Williams is an icon. Three, six, prospect pitcher, no. That's going to be a fly out to left field. Holtzman, I mean, Mambiquet. Uh, two out for Ron Santo. No one on. One, two, six. And the pitcher is fresh. Uh, let's see. It's a relief pitcher fresh in the second inning. I'm not sure on that one. Uh, I don't want to take the time to look it up, so we'll just say that he is. Uh, that's two out. And that's three out. That's the end of the inning. I might have called that one wrong. That might have been a single there, but uh, we'll say he's semi-fresh for the following inning. Jesus Alou. One, four, five. Uh, he's going to ground out to the infield. Center fielder Willie Mays. Two for two on the day. Two, five, five. And pitcher star, Holtzman semi-star, he does not get the decider die. So a home run king is going to hit a home run for left field. Now do I roll the decider die again? Probably should, yeah. That might be wrong again, but there's a home run for Willie Mays. Not sure if I call that right, but uh, we rolled it a second time. Now Mays has a shot for the uh, cycle here. He's hit a single, double, and home run, and that's going to tie up the game. Willie McCovey, 2-3-5. And pitcher is not wild, eager, no. So that's going to be a ground out to second base, two down. And Dick Eats, he's also 2-for-2 two two on the day. 1, 2, 4. Control. Yes. Decide die says yes. He grounds out the short. We've got a tie game in the fifth inning. 6 to 6. The wind must be blowing out in Wrigley. It's favoring the batters. Randy Hunley, the catcher, steps in. 1, 1, 5. Pitcher fresh. No. Home run king. No. Doubles to left field. So Hundley gets a second hit. Adolfo Phillips steps in. And we got 1-1-4. One, one, Batter, pitcher fresh. No. Uh, that's going to be a single to right field. We got first and third. And we're going to go to the team chemistry chart. Don Kessinger. Playing infield in. I'll uh, get rid of that one. So it's 1-2. We're going to check the fence, and I don't think they have much to worry about with Don Kessinger here. Uh, so he is a scrapper, so there's no, no chance for a home run. Uh, two is just going to be a single, so a long single for Kessinger will score Hunley, and Phillips will hold in at third, and Cubs are back in the lead. First and third, nobody out. Holtzman the batter. Ah, Holtzman's let up six runs, so this might be a good time to get a pinch hitter in there, bust the game open for the Cubs. Holtzman's going to take an early hook after five innings, and Jim, Jim Hickman's going to step in at the pinch hit. So Mon Bouquet has let three straight batters, so he is a semi-struggler. Hickman, 5-5-6. Uh, five, five, <clears throat> Double to right field. And that's going to clear the bases. Two run double. And that's, we're going to have to take Mom Paquette out too. Uh, first of all, while we're here, let's get a pitcher for the Cubs. And we're going to go with, uh, what do we got here? Chuck Hartenstein will be the relief pitcher for Chicago. And Mambo Kett has let up four straight hook, uh, four straight hits, and he is gonna, he is gonna take a hook. Put in Ron Herbal. And let's 
let's see, three runs are in, so that is nine to six. Cubs are leading. And we go to the top of the order, Glenn Beckett, no one out, man on second. Three, 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 that sounds uh, dangerous. And that's going to be a triple to the gap. Uh, yep. That's going to be a triple. The Kessinger is going to score Hickman from second. And the Cubs are leading 10 to 6. Beckard on third. Lou Johnson, the batter. Infield in. With still nobody out. Cubs have five straight hits to start this inning. 1 2 2. Champ or Whiffer, no. Line out the third, so there's the first out of the inning. Ernie Banks up, We've still, the Giants are still playing it in. Three, four, five, iron catcher, base on balls, let's see. Uh, Dietz is an iron catcher. Uh, so there's going to be a walk. First and third, Banks draws the second walk of the game. Billy Williams up first and third, one out. Infield back for the Giants. Can they get it? Uh-oh, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. That's going to be another triple. Let's see. Home. Uh, wait a minute. Home run King hits a home run. Decider dies, says yes. Williams hits a three-run shot. That's the second three-run homer for the Cubs. That's... One, two, three, four, seven runs in the inning. Cubs are up 13 to six. Wow. Typical Wrigley Field uh, slugfest here. And Ron Santo, the batter, with still only one out in the inning. Two, four, four. Uh, he is not a champion. That's going to be a ground out. So that's the second out. And Hunley's going to bat for the second time in the inning. Already has two hits on the day. Four, five, six. He is not patient, so that's going to be a fly out to center field. Finally, get out of the inning, but not before seven runs cross the plate on a Billy Williams three-run shot. And Ron, uh, Chuck Hardenstein is going to be tossing the right-hander for the Cubs. And let's see, the next batter is going to go to the team chemistry chart. So third baseman Jim Davenport steps in, 2-2, two, two. double. So they just keep pounding, both teams keep pounding the ball here at Wrigley. Ty Klein, the left fielder, the man on second. <clears throat> so the left fielder is in the, in the giant lineup now, got a little bit of an advantage, 2-4-4. Four, four. Uh, let's see, champion, no, that's going to be a ground out to short, and run a hold to the second, Hal Lanier, the batter, 1-3-5, that's going to take us to the unusual result chart, and let's see, we're going to go, it's going to take us to the umpire chart, and we check with a runner on second, okay, so Lanier, the batter, 3-3 three, three is strict umpire at third, no. Umpire rolls throw, not in time, both safe. So there's a single for Lanier. Davenport starts at third, and we're going to have to go. Herbal only pitched uh, one inning, and we're going to take him out, and we got to go for a pinch hitter to get the Giants back in this game. Uh, we got Jim Ray Hart, dangerous hitter. Coming off the bench. So first and third, one out. Jim Ray Hart, the batter of 1 4 6. Uh, Hartenstein is not flash. He is not a champion. That's going to be a ground out, double play. Gets Hart, pinch hitter. Slow on the base pass, could not beat out the throw, and Hartenstein gets out of the inning without a run, and the Giants got to look for their fourth pitcher of the game. Let's see, we had uh, Mon Baquette, we had Herbal, and who do we got left here? Joe Gibbon. Gibbon will face the Cubs in the bottom of the sixth.
Cubs up by a score of 13 to uh, excuse me, yeah, Cubs up 13 to 6. And Adolfo Phillips hit a three run homer and a single. He will lead it off. We're at 3 3 5. And there's a single. Another hit. It's his third hit of the game. Don Kessinger. 3 4 4. He is not, uh, let's see, the pitcher is not a prospect. He's not patient, so he pops out to second. Hartenstein will bat. And one, two, six. Fresh pitcher, so lines out to second. And top of the order, Glenn Becker, one of our featured players today. Reached base four times. Two singles, a triple, and a walk. Two, three, five. And Eager here will... Hit a single to shortstop.